The Indiana State Police Post in Versailles opened on August 15, 1956. Prior to that time, state police personnel in southeastern Indiana were based at Connorsville Post 6. During the administration of Governor George Craig, an effort to bring the services of the Indiana State Police closer to the people in southeastern Indiana was identified. Under the direction of Superintendent Frank Jessup, large districts were divided into sub-districts, and a search was conducted to determine the location of a post in southeastern Indiana. Several properties were considered, However, the final decision was made to purchase ground from Herman Werner at the junction of then New Indiana Highway 129 and US 421 at the south edge of Versailles. A Gunnison prefab home was selected for the sub-district headquarters building since it would fit in with the residential surroundings. Ripley, Dearborn, Decatur, Ohio, and Switzerland counties were assigned to the new Versailles Post 6A. Sergeant Cecil Melvin of Centerville, Indiana, was the first for sales post commander. He was assisted in his duties by Corporal Norman Hulson of Versailles and Corporal Russell Pounder of Greensburg. Area troopers assigned to the new post were Herb Belmer, Ansel Pruitt, Russell Benning, Paul Alford, Jack Kixmiller, Norman Mellis, Dick Poe, Donald Petro, and Joe Advansky. Frank Benz of Batesville was promoted to detective sergeant, and Bob Cannon of Seymour was assigned to radio dispatch duties. Shortly after opening, Mrs. Bine Firth was hired as clerk, and Chancey Lemon as custodian. Thus, a total of 16 persons worked out of the Versailles post by the end of 1956.
The 1990s saw considerable change at the Versailles District. With the retirements of Lieutenant Dave Scranton and First Sergeant Bob Gray, Lieutenant Ed Krause and First Sergeant Ray Otter led the transition into the long-awaited new modern facility. This, of course, meant the physical destruction of the old building, but not the memories it held. District operations relocated to the residence of Audrey Buente in a home located immediately behind the original post in August of 1995. Work then began on the construction of the new post facility on the original site. The new post went into operation on January 5, 2000. Lieutenant Krauss and First Sergeants Gray and Otter also oversaw the huge surge in manpower due to the creation of the gaming division. During the period, over a hundred probationary officers cycled through the field training at the Versailles District. Since the opening of the Versailles Post in 1956, 
two Versailles troopers have made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. In the early morning hours of December 18, 1966, Trooper William Rayner, accompanied by Decatur County Sheriff's Deputy David Blodgett, stopped a car on I-74 east of Greensburg. Trooper Rayner, unaware that the car was stolen, approached the vehicle and was shot by the car's passenger. Deputy Blodgett returned fire, killing the passenger. The other suspect was captured after a lengthy manhunt in the area. Trooper Rayner left a wife, Rhea Dawn, and three sons. On the morning of April 25, 1997, Trooper Andrew Winsenreed stopped along I-74 in Decatur County to assist the stranded motorist. While helping the motorist, Trooper Winsenreed was struck and killed by a passing semi-tractor trailer. Trooper Winsenreed left a wife, Cindy, and a young daughter. It has been said that the strength of the Indiana State Police Department lies in the character of its men and women. You and I will long remember the deeds of our deceased who were ever mindful of their public trust. They have set a pattern we must follow in the days and years to come.